And we're back tonight with a story that is developing overseas that could impact some of our neighbors. The White House is warning a Russian invasion of Ukraine could happen at any moment. Russian troops continue building up on the border as the U.S. and its NATO allies weigh their options. Northeast Ohio is home to one of the nation's largest population of Ukrainians. News 5's John Kosick tells us now they continue to watch this situation very closely. Whether it's along State Road in Parma, Tremont, or other places, you'll find pockets where Ukrainians settled in Northeast Ohio over the last century. They came here when America was industrializing. They came here for jobs. Many after World War I, and many like Andy Fedinsky's family after World War II, when Russia first took over Ukraine. He's now the director of the Ukrainian Museum Archives in Tremont. There's about 10,000 books here, nearly all of them 100 years old or more. It's a place created 70 years ago as a home to Ukrainian history and cultural artifacts that were being destroyed during the Soviet Union's control of the country. Scholars here in the, in the West, and not just in Cleveland, uh, said we have to preserve this because future generations won't know unless we preserve it. Preserving history, it is said, is often the best way to avoid repeating it. And the history the Ukrainian people today are hoping to not see repeat is the growing threat of a Russian invasion, as Russian troops and hardware are being deployed to the areas around Ukraine's border. Vladimir Putin threatening, in his words, a military technical response unless he gets a guarantee that Ukraine won't join NATO. This is a repeat of czarist policy uh, which set up the Russian Empire. Uh, obviously the Soviet Union and now uh, Putin is trying to reconstitute that imperial legacy. Senator Rob Portman just returned from Ukraine last night and met with President Biden this morning. We need to stand strong and unified in letting Vladimir Putin and Russia know that should there be another physical invasion of Ukraine, that the consequences will be devastating. Something Vedinsky hopes is avoided for the good of the Ukrainian people and the Russian people as well. In Cleveland, John Kasich, News 5. All right, here's a brief look at other recent tensions around Ukraine. After World War II, Ukraine was part of the Soviet Union. In 1991, Ukraine declared independence from Russia, then struggled to establish a democracy. In 2014, Britannica.com says Crimea left Ukraine and asked to rejoin Russia. Russia built up its military presence on the border. You'll recall the Russian military shot down a passenger plane over Ukrainian airspace in that year.